when we created the documentary, uh, getting the approval from Wolves in Sheep's Clothing for their song Bucky. Uh, first time I ever heard that song, I was in a really good state of mind, I guess you could say. That's always stuck with me. So that's why we went out and, and got them to, to be a part of the documentary, Zero to Hero. Interviewing people like Tony Watley, and Clayton Zelazowski, and Chris Rude, and Jeremy Rubin. All these people who become successful. And that's what the song's about, is you know, breaking out, getting lucky, getting what you want. And there's not a person on this planet who doesn't want to get lucky and get what they want. So it fits perfectly. When I first heard it, I thought it was extremely catchy. <laughs> it got stuck in my head the whole time. And we launched it. It's uh, the, the documentary is going to be featured as a bonus for the webinars. So if anybody's been following along, we have the hero booklet, which teaches people how to quit their corporate job, start a business, write a book, and become the hero of their own story. That's gonna be a lead into a webinar. The webinar is gonna teach people about business development. Because in all honesty, I think that anybody who starts a business realizes the money, how you make your money, is the lifeline to other successful parts of your life, whether it's relationships or opportunities or freedom to travel. How you make your money is almost as important, if not more important, than how much money you make. So if you can get your business right, your money right, then you can actually do cooler things and be happier and meet cooler, like-minded individuals. So the webinar is going to teach you that. And that webinar is also going to be a lead into other webinars, which is going to be interviewing other crazy successful multi-millionaires. So the book leads into a webinar, leads into another webinar, and as a bonus for some of these webinars, we're giving out the documentary. And it's always nice to just give things away a sort of a reward. Everything's based off of rewards and incentives. If you can incentivize your audience, there's a better chance of them staying with you and being a part of the journey. asked me about my story and uh, figured I'll share it with you. It all started in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is a special spot for me, so I figured I'd do the video here. Working at a convenience store and I was 16 years old, got a car worth 850 bucks and I met an entrepreneur. For the first time in my life I met an entrepreneur who was successful. Followed his steps, learned from him, watched what he did and I just fell in love with the game of entrepreneurship. He's the one that got me to go to Duquesne University. He recommended it, took up finance classes. I followed this guy and I looked up to this guy as sort of like a mentor, the first mentor. He got me to read Rich Dad, Poor Dad. So that got me into real estate. I became my own real estate agent when I graduated from school. And I realized the magic of passive income. Oh my God, I could work really hard at something and make money for the rest of my life. So I bought my first four unit building at 23 years old. And uh, that's whenever I started to realize I was totally on my own. That mentor of mine saw me going off on my own and kind of turned his back on me. And whenever I was completely on my own, that's when I really became the man who you see nowadays. Learning the game through the school of hard knocks. I mean, I didn't have anybody to ask for advice. I didn't know anybody that was really successful, so I had to start reaching out to people online. Anyway. Three failed startup businesses led into my fourth startup business called Doggy Surprise. And Doggy Surprise is a direct-to-home shipment for your, for your dog, toys and treats for your dog. And that's when I realized I could actually make it with a startup business. People started coming to me and asking me, hey, how do you start a business? What about branding? What about logo design? What about customer service? What about fulfillment? And I started helping people. And then I wrote a book book is what changed my life. It's called Dream Starter. When I wrote a book, I realized that people were giving me credibility for you know, accomplishing something, turning it into an Amazon bestseller, 
I realized they were giving me speaking gigs. And if I would have wrote a book when I was 23 years old, rather than going through like eight, nine years of failure, I would have got a lot more attention sooner and I could have changed my life. So I started helping other entrepreneurs write their books. And that's whenever people started coming to me and saying, hey, I see you did it for this person and this person, can you help me? And the magic of a book was kind of spread out to people all over the world. We started writing, ghost writing, cover design, editing, formatting, helping other people bring their stories to life, helping them use their story as their competitive advantage. People always ask me about, should you start a business, quit your job as soon as possible? Absolutely. Why is that? Because the longer you're in this game, the better you get. It's all it is, it's a game, it's a game of chess. I keep writing books because I know they're all chess pieces. I can use this book in a certain way compared to this one. And we have a new book out there. Let's see if I have one. The Hero Booklet. Okay, this is a free plus shipping offer, herobooklet.com. You go to it, you can get how to become the hero of your own story. So I give this away to people for free. All you have to do is pay for shipping and handling. But this has given me the opportunity to generate a lot more attention get a lot more leads for what we offer, whether it's book writing, webinars, meeting with entrepreneurs, millionaires, and offering what they do to our network. So this is a lead-in to a webinar and to many other webinars. So it all started with a book, but it's sort of, this book is used differently than the book that we created in the very, very, very beginning. And that's what I recommend other people to get out of their corporate job, start a business as soon as possible, because time, is the only asset that you'll never get back. I'm in a special spot here. If you take a look around, I took a girl here years ago. And that girl was 26 years old. She's dead now. I don't know what happened, whether it was drug related or we broke up and years later she died. But this girl who I took here was a special moment in my life and hopefully in her life. But she's gone now. She'll never be able to go. We talked about dreams and what we're gonna accomplish in the next coming years, but she's no longer with us. So I think that time is one thing people ignore. Like, oh, I'll get to it next year, I'll get to it next next month or next week. I'll start a business then. I'll, I'll quit my job whenever I make this much money or whenever I'm set. Man, I, there is no perfect time. That's why I tell people all the time, just get out and go. Time is not on your side. Even though you think it might be, not get out and start doing crazy things, putting your story together, getting better at what you do, you are really, really going to miss out. I only am at this point because I started when I was 23. To be honest with you, I should have started sooner. I really wish I was out doing things faster, better, but my phrase started from zero. I didn't know who to turn to or what to do. Or, you know, I was afraid to actually put myself out there all in. My parents were telling me, don't do it. Friends were telling me, you're an idiot people out there who are more successful than me that I'm seeing, hey, stick with your job. You're making a hundred grand a year as a, as a home remodeling salesman. But I hated myself. And I wish I would have jumped sooner because I would be even further along mentally, financially than I am now. Time held me back. If I, if I was in those businesses doing something I hate, I could never excel at something that I love. You have to go out and take that little fall, get beat up, fall down some cliffs, get scraped up, get bloody. I tell people all the time, get bloody as fast as possible because you'll heal and you'll feel stronger. It's almost like if you get cut. Those scars on your body when you get cut or wounded, the cells die. You don't feel as much pain there ever again. So whenever you hurt yourself in business, you heal up. But now you heal up stronger. You don't feel things as become stronger, you become smarter, and those scars become battle wounds. They become stars and stripes on your uniform. I did this, this person screwed me over, this is what happened. Guess what, all that has become a badge of honor now. So going places like this, I love coming back to places where it all began, having conversations with people, special moments in my life. I was here with another special friend of mine. There was a song called Lucky that was just coming out by Wolves in Sheep's Clothing. We both listened to that song all the, or not all the time, but we, we heard it for the very first time right after we came here. And uh, that sticks out in my mind. It's such a significant, oh my God, I could dream of something for 10 years and finally get it. 
and I realized that everybody out there is trying to dream about something, but nobody's nobody's putting all their energy into it like I did, or some of the entrepreneurs I meet. So people want to get lucky. That's what the song's called, Wolves and Sheep's Clothing. I got it for the documentary, Zero to Hero. People want to get lucky, but they're not willing to put themselves out there, stand in front of a camera, write their story, and they're, they're afraid of that. So I don't think you can get lucky without putting yourself out there. And that song kind of symbolizes that you can do so much in this world and not get lucky, but you can get further along in your life. And eventually, the favor of God or grace or wherever you want to look at it, eventually goes in your, on your side. People call it lucky because of all the hard work, the connections, the relationships they built up, but it's not luck. It's just the ability to stick with something long enough, to go after it, to risk yourself, to make yourself look like an idiot, to stand up on a mountain and be willing to fall, to climb, to be even willing to try to climb. And that's the magic of this company that we put together. So anybody out there who wants to be an entrepreneur, I'm telling you right now, anybody who does start something from the ground up, and they go from zero to hero. Our podcast is Zero to Hero because we want to help those who are chasing their hero. Since I started from zero, that's the brand, people who start from nothing and go after what they really want, those are the people who need to be heard in this world. Those are the ones that need guidance. They, they're the ones that have the incredible stories. If you have to talk to an entrepreneur, they always have these badass stories. They're fantastic. And yeah, sitting around a fire when you're 65, you laugh about them. When you're 25 or 35, when you're going through them, it's not that much fun. But you learn and those stories become better and better and better. So for those people who are chasing their hero, my God, just get started as fast as possible. And you will not regret it. Because you can go back to times like this or places like this and remember where it all began.